गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी इंस्पायर्ड यू आर इन द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ यूट्यूब प्लानिंग चैनल एंड बाई यूजिंग दिस चैनल आई क्रिएटेड सो मेनी एजुकेशनल वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन द सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स एंड अलॉन्ग विद द मैथ्स आई क्रिएटेड सम वीडियोज बेस्ड ऑन वेरिक मैथ्स एंड सम क्रेजी मैथ्रिक्स जस्ट बाई यूजिंग सिंपल अर्थमेटिकल ऑपरेशन एंड नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रिटायरमेंट पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ दिस वीक दैट इज अक्टोबर सेवेंटीन so before the video is going to start it please share like subscribe my channel if you are a new subscriber to my if you are a new uh, you are watching for the first time my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon by hitting it what will happen you will never miss my updates so please share it with your friends if you find this video is useful to you okay now without getting late let's get started the video so you already know that uh, my previous members know that this is about uh, pie chart and this chart is explaining that how much amount i invested in my two mobile apps that is kuvera and app stocks of course you all know that kuvera along with the company vested it just started us based stocks also if you want to invest in us based stocks directly you can go through the kuvera mobile app and you can download it from your play store and you can get vested vested account and after the kyc is updated just immediately you can just purchase your stocks if you have a good knowledge in stocks it is very easy and the retailer itself and the person who without any need of any broker just you can do it your own okay friends now coming to this pie chart and this pie chart is explaining about two things and amount i invested my amount in two mobile apps the name is kuvera and app stocks so the highest amount i invested in app stocks that is 65.9% and in kuvera i invested 34.1% so that's what this first pie chart is explaining about now we'll move on to the next pie chart and this pie chart is divided into three parts so the parts are mutual funds stocks and etf so whatever the mobile apps are there inside the mobile apps we have these three things not only these three things you have so many different things but i just have a little bit knowledge among this so that is the reason i just divided my amount in this way so the highest amount i invested in etf that is 63.6% and the second highest amount i invested in mutual funds that is 33.2% and the least amount i invested in stocks that is 3.2% so this is what your pie chart is explaining about <clears throat> so now coming to this two pie charts after completion of this now we'll move on to the next charts and this charts are called bar graphs and this two are bar graphs based on percentage of profit since my investment so the up one is called percentage sorry amount invested from my investment and this is about percentage of profit till my since my investment is started so the first one is explaining that in my two mobile apps how much percentage of profit i got from when i started my investment to till today okay friends so this bar graph by seeing this you can easily understand that so upstox is uh, showing 28.91% profit and kuvera is showing the uh, 27.95% of profit so by seeing this too you can easily get that the highest profit i earned in 28.91 very little when compared to kuvera so kuvera's percentage of profit is 27.95% now we'll move on to the next bar graph and this bar graph is also based on the pie graph which you which we discussed earlier so this bar graph is explaining about three things that is etf stocks and mutual funds so what the cdf uh, and of course by seeing this you can able to understand that this is percentage of profit since my investment breakdown by invested vehicle what kind of investment i used that breakdown on this you are seeing this one okay friends and now coming to this one what is this one is explaining and the highest amount the highest percentage of profit i got in mutual funds that is 27.95% and the second highest profit i got in etf that is 24.25% and the least profit i got in stocks that is 20.59% uh, friends you have to observe one thing that is i just got profit only i didn't get into the loss so that is the reason i just done it with the help of blue color only if i got a, a loss automatically the color is going to change into red color in that way we have okay friends now we will just compare this uh, two bar graphs one second let me just keep this graph up and now you can see this two graphs side by side so this pie chart and this bar graph is linked both because why it is linked because this is showing percentage of profit and this is showing percentage of sorry investment from my uh, starting onwards so what here is saying 
it is saying that the highest amount I invested in abstracts. So the same way here also I got highest profit in abstracts that is 28.91% and the second highest I invested in Kuvera so I also got the second highest profit that is 27.95%. That's what when you are going to compare this pie chart and bar graph. And now coming to the investor vehicle what is this two graphs are explaining we will see. So it is showing that the highest profit I got in mutual funds but whereas uh, it is the second highest amount I invested and the uh, second highest profit I got in ETF that is 24.25% but I invested the highest amount in ETF that is 63.6% and uh, it is showing the least profit in stocks that is 20.59% and of course I invested least amount in stocks itself that is 3.2%. So the amount I invested least and it is showing least profit but the amount I invested highest it is showing second highest profit whereas the amount I invested second highest amount I invested and it is showing the highest profit from my investment. That's what this pie chart and this bar graph is explaining over here. Okay friends now we will move on to the next thing and this is a very interesting thing because it is showing that from last week to this week means last week is October 10th and this week is October 17th. So see how the markets, the drastic change of markets is, uh, is there over here. So what it is showing, of course all are in loss, nothing is there in profit from last week to this week. Very drastic problem is there here. So we will see now which is having highest loss and which is having least loss. Of course by seeing this uh, bar graph you can easily understand that uh, breakdown by mobile app. Upstrox is showing highest loss of 1.18% and Kuvera is showing least loss that is 1.01%. And coming to this bar graph of uh, percentage of profit since my last week breakdown by investor vehicle. Uh, ETF is showing highest loss that is 1.19% and stocks is showing second highest loss that is 1.15% and the least loss I got in mutual funds that is 1.01%. Okay friends, now we will compare these two bar graphs like uh, percentage of profit since my investment to the percentage of profit since my last week. So coming to this two and here it is showing upstocks highest profit and so it is also showing here highest loss only in upstocks and the second highest loss we got here that is in Kuvera. Okay friends and here coming to this. We got uh, mutual funds highest profit but uh, luckily here we have mutual funds least loss and second highest profit in ETF and it is showing the highest loss in ETF that is 1.19%. Least loss in stocks but it is showing second highest loss in lo uh, stocks that is 1.15% and the least loss is mutual funds that is 1.01%. So by this investor vehicle you can easily understand that we got uh, highest loss in ETF that is 1.19%. So what is the loss and one point what how we got 1.19% of loss is we will see now. So here I have uh, two things two investment types that is nifty bees and ZF nifty bank. So this is the amount I invested on October 10th it was very good and coming to October 17th it changed like this. So we have to see this. So from last week to this week means from October 10th and 17th. See here 2200 rupees loss in set uh, nifty bees and 2224 rupees 56 pies I lost in set of nifty bank. So among nifty bees and among nifty bees and set of nifty bank the highest loss we got is 1.31% that is set of nifty bank and compare overall we got a loss of 1.19% in ETF that is the reason we got very very loss more loss we occurred in is occurred in set of nifty bank of course set of nifty bank is showing a very heavy loss so that is the reason we got loss and the loss amount is 2224 and nifty b's loss is 2200 just only 24 rupees changes there overall loss in etf is 4424 from last week to this week so this is about my portfolio friends and i hope this is going to be a, a little bit benefit and i hope it is going to be a little bit useful for everyone if anyone is going to trying to keep this uh, keep your save your money in stocks or mutual funds or ETFs. So in that way I am just trying to uh, share my knowledge with everyone how I invested and how it is improving. So by this you can try it with your own and just try it your own friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching.